listen to the first four games of this series tonight. Game five, and I would expect nothing less. Let's go. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck in this opening faceoff. This is what you're playing for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. about it. Opponents in a vulnerable spot. You see the numbers. You can't hit like that. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Stahl has gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Couturier's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Takes possession off the draw. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Turnover by Atkinson. Collins ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Philadelphia has won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. Philadelphia is on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> the one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint. They score! Multiple things to win hockey games, James. You need skill, but you need grit and grease, and that's exactly what he showed right there. He rolled up his sleeves, he got dirty, he won the 50-50 battle, and he took it to the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Couturier's won the draw at center. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Scooped up along the wall by Therapy. Dubnik's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Flyers win that offensive zone faceoff. Looks to set up at the point now. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. In close! Big save by the goaltender watching that one. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. The Flyers take possession here inside the offensive zone. With the stop. Minnesota's got the puck. Moves it over to Koibu. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Oh, 
Well, he gets all of this one-timer, doesn't he, James? I mean, his one leg is almost on the ground as he bears down and lets it rip. The Wild have put themselves in front by a goal here in the first. Oh, yeah, there's too much game left here to just sit back and, and play with that lead, James. It's not cozy or comfy enough. they got to find a way to push for more. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Makes his presence known on the ice. Takes the feed. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Levels it with the hit. Quick pass to Prosser. A little banging and crashing now. Oh, he's got a step. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Oh, wow. Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. The Flyers have it from the corner. Quick feed to Pominville. Across the line along the left wall. Picked off by Faraby. The Flyers play it along the boards. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Takes the pass. Handles the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Scores! And that's three on. the pedal to the metal. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James, and when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Philadelphia's won the draw. The Flyers take it along the wall. Sends it quickly to Stahl. Takes the feed. Moves it to Konechny. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Oh, so big. What a stop. Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. The Flyers are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. Minnesota's going to start with the puck in their own end. Feeds the puck across to Koibu. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Boy, his pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance. And he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Slides the puck down low. Hammers it on there. Love save made by Hart. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Past the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's got a 3-1 lead. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Flyers looking against the half wall. He scores! Jacob Borichek! Just an incredible move to get the goaltender to bite in. He doesn't even have to raise this puck, James. He can just slide it right by into the open net. The Flyers have jumped right back into this one here in the first. Well, they certainly have, and they found their momentum late in the period here, James, as they counter and they get themselves back in the game within one. Minnesota's won it. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. 
Puts it on net. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it quickly over to Cole. Big time save by Hart. Tosses it on to Giroud. Along the half wall with the puck. That's a solid hit. Receives the pass. Here he is in front. Denies him. Dude makes the hole over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Dubnik's a great goalie who can steal a game for his club. Hart's known around the league for being solid between the pipes. He'll look to live up to that reputation. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. Quick pass to Granlin. And that's knocked away by Pitlick. Tries to get the puck over to Sanheim. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Leader Riders hauled down. Penalty on the way. Granlin's got it along the wing. Here we go. Phil Turner's at the bench. They've got the extra attack around with the delay penalty. Let's get the call here. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here. You're struggling on the power play. You have to find a way to get the shots through to the net. And you have to crash. Not one player, not two. Everyone has to drive. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Corby. Hart's going to hang on for a whistle. Couturier sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Koibu's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. And that's blocked in traffic. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends it over. Denied by the goaltender. Stuffs him again. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Koivu's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Hart. Faraday's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Poked away in the offensive zone by Kobe. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather, and we'll come back with period number two in moments. teams with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway second frame is underway as the puck is dropped well we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far cheryl your assessment hart's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes i mean he got shelled he's got to be exhausted james this team needs to pick it up in front of them if they want to stay in this game oh what a hit on the boards 
Ahead of steam now towards the front. A chance in front, and that's intercepted. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. And that's broken up. Here we go, two on one. They gain the zone to the crease. Loose puck battle along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Niskanen's got it along the wing. And he connects with the long bomb. Break away. Scores! Talk about swing on the finish with that one. He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, Jake. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time, a golden one it is, and he cashes in. Sometimes he makes his way to the net, James, and I'm not even sure how he got there. He knows how to create space for himself, even when it feels like it's limited. He finds the room to dangle his way to the net. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Rocks him on the play. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. the puck over. Oh, look at this chance. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Here's the shot. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes. Increasing their lead to two. Philadelphia's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Picked up along the boards by Farabee. He's off! Oh, what a save on the one-timer! He was dialed in there! Minnesota's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Into the attacking end. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Can't maintain possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. What a great read, breaking up the pass. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. With possession along the wall. Slides it over with pace to open for goal. In all the on the breakaway. And not much on that one. Moves the puck to Niederreiter. Great poke check on the reach. Taken by Ristolainen. The Wild have it now. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Pass across to Van Riemsdyk. Shot with the stop. Dubnik's going to hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and makes a nice cover. Pitlick's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And that's turned aside by Dubnik. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a faceoff. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. The Flyers win the draw. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Picked up along the wall by Gostas Bear. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop on the play! Suter's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the feed from the goaltender. 
And now he angles it across to Lindblom. Quick shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Dubnik's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Well past the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Granlin's won the faceoff. Takes the pass. He bends it off the wall. Hags got the puck through the neutral zone. stoppage in play. The Flyers need to find a way to convert on one of these scoring chances as they trail here in period number two. Philadelphia's won the draw. Quick feed to Konechny. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Flyers win the faceoff. Line of the net, a miss. Oh man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Parisi's got the puck in his own zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. He scores, and it's back to back tally. Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. There's no question about it, James, that the battles are won in the trenches, and this is a 50-50 puck, and he finds a way to get to it first, but then he's creative and makes a play with it, and it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's firepower in full effect tonight as they continue to dominate late in period number two. Uh, and this is a collective and cohesive effort as well. And you know in the intermission, there's going to be a lot of chatter and some relaxation laughs in that dressing room because they have this lead, they have this game. They just want to come out and continue to play the way they started it. And it's a quick pass to Brodini. Here's a blast! Makes the save with the trapper! Moves it to Gostaspair. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. I can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Granlin's won the draw and they're on the attack.
40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. The Flyers win the draw and they'll look to kill off the final seconds of this penalty. Moves it quickly oh. over to Sandheim. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play... Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Penalty coming up here. Understand when you're racing for the puck, just stand in the way of your opponent to slow them down. But if you hang out there too long, you're going to get the interference call. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Handles the pass. And the goal is scored! And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that special teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and buries it. Philadelphia's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. Shooter's gonna play it against the half wall. Stones him in front. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Gustav Bear has been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play. They've got a two on one. What a great defensive play to end that rush. Slides the puck across to Heatley. The Flyers have it now. Looking for space inside the D zone. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. Well, you can see the pent up frustration. That's the second penalty of the period. Now he's put his team in a compromised position. Not to mention, he's affected their rhythm. Victoria is on this power play unit, and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here, guys. Couturier swung the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Nasty hit along the wall. Good stop by Dubnik. Goaltenders have to be able to read where the puck is going to, and he reads it perfectly as he has a strong push cross post and makes a save. And stay on his feet after that hit. Stay for the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. <laughs> Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Second, Moves second. with the puck to the corner. Quick pass to hand. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK unit, James. Late in the game when they're up by one and they close and shut it down. Awesome job by everyone to figure out how to get it down the ice and kill some valuable seconds. He got all of that one. Sends it into the offensive zone. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was a big time. <laughs> Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Minnesota's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. The Flyers win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And a good save on the play as action continues. Dubnik's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. 
Taken along the wall by Hayes. He got all of that hit. Here's a blast. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. The Flyers' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Philadelphia's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Eric gets in front of it for the block. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Makes a move in front. Decides to think about it. Takes it across the blue line. Passes out front. And he denies that great opportunity there. And there's another great save. Hag stick handling in his own zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Hearts off to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Both teams ready here for the faceoff. The Flyers start with the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Atkinson's close to finding a hole. Well, well, that's gonna be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. The Flyers are getting called for boarding on the play. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Dubnik's been able to hold his own in the crease, guys, and hasn't given up much, so he's got my vote in this one. Philadelphia's taken possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And now he moves it quickly to Couturier. Feeds the puck to Raffle. The Flyers will play it in their own end. And now he moves it to Raffle. And that's picked up by Clutterbuck. And now he tries to get it across to Pominville. Cuts to the paint. Right on the doorstep. Big time stopped by Hart. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Brandlin's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Takes possession off the draw. Right up the gun into the offensive end. Shot, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Quick feed to Scandella. Here's a shot, and he's got the answer for that one. should not be giving time or space to because he uses that one T zone ability and capitalizes off those one-timers. Teammates love to set him up because he puts everything he's got behind those shots. Let's see who sets him up here. Gostas Bears been slashed. Penalty coming up. Here comes the call. And that's another penalty, James. And you know that his teammates aren't going to like this. This really disrupts the flow of the bench and puts his team in a bad spot. Puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion, everything seems directed at the net. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves it to Hayes. Sets the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Collins ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Slot shot from the point. Turns him away. Takes the shot. Denies him again. Minutes 
Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. The Flyers have it in the offensive zone. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. Minnesota's back to even strength. Huge effort by their penalty killing unit. Timing is everything, James. A critical moment of the game. You have a power play. You know how important it is and you don't deliver. Real frustrating for the entire group. Good stand up hit. Grab by Voracek. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Clutterbuck. Yep. Centering the front. Oh, scores! What a play! Well, it takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind, and you have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The Wild have put in a complete effort tonight, and I mean, we're close to the finish line now here, Cheryl, but wow, they have really looked dominant. They have, and they've had the killer instinct. Sometimes when you get a healthy lead, you can take the foot off the gas pedal, but they're not. They're going for it right to the end. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Slick feed. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he gets nailed. The Flyers have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Here's a chance! Stops him with the glove! And mercifully, now just seconds left in this one. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Passes on over to Konechny. The Flyers ready to go on the attack. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Lines, come on. Myers plays it against the boards. Puck picked up by Konechny. And that doesn't reach the net. And there's the save. Runs up hard into the wall. Ah, the coach will be happy with the no-fit attitude with that. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. And we are all over with this one. And with the victory, now just one win away from closing out this series, Cheryl. Yeah, and there's two trains of thought here. I mean, you're up 3-2, and you know you're so close to getting through the series and clinching, but yet you're still far away. You have to have the killer instinct, and you do not want to allow your opponent in and force a Game 7. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.